Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks, Diecast Restorations, and welcome to Saturday. So, what we have here, as promised from last week, is a Thames Estate car. Well, let's see what we've got here. Now, there it is. Thames Estate car. So, uh, as I stated in the, uh, I think it was last week, uh, I didn't know what color this was, and I was going to research it. Well, uh, I have a little book I bought, and I'm going to show it in the next segment. So, anyway, uh, stick around, and let's get it off the roundabout, and let's bring this back to its glory. Stay tuned. All right, so before I take uh, the Thames Estate car apart, I wanted to show everybody what I bought. So this is the Encyclopedia of Matchbox Toys from 1947 to 2001 by Charlie Mack. So Charlie Mack, here he is. There's a little bio about him. Uh, he's one of the world's foremost authorities of Matchbox Toys. And when I open this, you'll see why. So they've got everything you can imagine. So the, the Thames Estate car is right there. So there's the color of it. A yellow and a turquoise blue. I didn't even have to do any Google Images search. So and then in the very back here, it's got a breakdown of, I think, every single car from 1947. And here it is, the Ford Thames Estate Car, issued 1959. So I have got the yellow and turquoise body with green window, gray plastic wheels. So, goes for $75 to $85, that's probably mint condition, but anyway. So this is a must book to have. And I'm actually really glad I bought it, especially doing these restos, the old regular wheel matchbox cars. So anyway, all right, time to take it apart and get it back to its glory. All right, so let's get the little Thames Estate car in the maintenance floor. No interior. Uh, 1951, they did them real simply. So this doesn't have any rivets. So it does have like a little tab right there. So I'm going to pop it out. And you just got to gently pry it out. Just like that. And it comes off. And then looks like the window has some rivets in there holding it on. So I'm going to lightly drill those out. And... This thing is in really good shape. All the pillars are there and everything, so. Great plastic wheels. And... All right, I'm going to take off the axles and take out the window unit and then press on. See you in a bit. All right, so let's take a look at the window unit. I do have some blue paint on there. Brake fluid should take it off pretty easily. And that should shine up pretty good. I'm just amazed how old this thing is. And it's got an intact window unit. It hasn't been stepped on. And, and here's the front end. I'll be detailing the grill there. And then I rounded out the little rivets in there for the window. So I can just glue it back in there. Tires have a little bit of paint on them, so and then the axles are in good shape, and then here's the base. So it looks like it's gonna be a fun Vesto. I think it's my oldest matchbox to date. I don't know. I gotta check my inventory. Alright, and stick around. Alright, here's my little Ford Thames estate car. There's the body. Pretty cool little detail. And here's uh, 
Oh, I said a Ford Thames Estate, sorry. It's just a Thames Estate car. There it is, number 70. All right, I'm gonna put this in my solution and then put a coat of primer on it. See you in a bit. Here's a little Thames Estate car. So I've decided, I think I'm gonna go back to the Tamiya primer. I just kind of like it. It dries better and it, it's just better. So anyway, here's the base. So, all right, I'm anxious to do this one, see how it turns out. All right, see you soon. All right, so here's a little Thames Estate car ready to go to back together for the final reveal. All right, stick around. All right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what we started with. A classic regular wheel matchbox, the Thames Estate car, and let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for the final reveal for my Thames Estate car. So this one was a really good little fun project because I'm starting to practice mixing paints, which has always been my weakness. So this original color was a turquoise. So the previous owner painted it all blue, including some of the wheels. So just took my uh, base coat of white and then I just added blue and green until I got the good color. So two-tone uh, yellow straight out of the pot and shined up the, uh, the hubs, the axles. I didn't paint the tires, just cleaned them up in brake fluid, get the paint off. And then I did the front grill. That's the only detail on this uh, model. Anyway, so let's see what's going on for next week. So next week we've got a, a classic. Got the Ford Service Ambulance, number 63. And uh, this one's going to be fun because it is really, really trashed out. So I uh, like taking these old classics and giving them a new lease of life. So anyway, that'll be next week all right let's bring the little Thames Estate car back on the roundabout for a final spin all right as it spins around for one last time I want to thank you guys for watching um, I really appreciate all my subscribers and viewers and I'm almost at 600 which is pretty cool for me even though I've been doing this for two years um, I'll take every subscriber doesn't matter and I appreciate every single one of you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. That's all, folks.